hi everyone and welcome back to my channel so it's happy mail day happy mail i've been really really looking forward to getting this book and all it is i've genuinely not looked at it yet i have seen that one other colorist color claire has uploaded a flip through and asked it right to the end to see her beautiful finished page but i didn't want to spoil the uh, illustrations for myself uh, so i have seen one page from this one page and there's a stamp anastasia called reva uh, my art is nothing without your colours. That's nice, isn't it? That stamp. So it just came in some plastic packaging, which I just pre-opened, and then I've cut the box. So let's have a little nosey, shall we? Now I have collector's syndrome. I have an issue with having things missing from my collection. So as soon as I, I knew that this was out, I, I had to have it. But she's having some issues, the artist. So the way that I purchased this, I emailed her directly. I got her email address through Facebook. Um, I will leave the email down below because it's just an email for inquiries. So the email that I emailed to purchase this book, that's what I'll do. Um, and yeah, you can go from there to, to how to purchase it. It wasn't difficult. And uh, she talked it talked it through step by step for me so I'm super pleased to have my grubble little hands on this and complete the collection now are you going to come off? there we go is it Ecliptica? Ecliptica? so I'm assuming it is all about star signs on this one please excuse my desk I was having all sorts of messy fun last night apparently needs to go in the washing machine again anyway so it is the same format as all of her other colouring books um, I'm going to actually pull the other ones out just to show you so yeah here are all the other colouring books they are exactly the same format so we've got Wind Dragon's Dream this is not in any particular order Nocturnes, Blackbird, Song, Maritime, uh, Mermaid Legends, Mysteria and Serenita. I love Serenita. That one's my favourite out of uh, the bunch. We'll just show you a couple of illustrations. I've done loads in her boots. Loads and loads and loads. That was a very recent one. That one's one of my favourites. But yeah. So, let me just move these to one side. It's quite heavy when you hold them like that. So yes, I might have to start a page in this tonight. So is it Ecliptica? So that is the front cover. It does feel like the exact same paper, spiral bound again, which I appreciate. So it is really, really smooth paper, this. I always say don't use watercolour, then I use watercolour. <laughs> you know, it's up to you at the end of the day. I suppose you could gesso the page. Oh, I like that skull. That's pretty cool, isn't it? I just wondered, because she signed some of the other copies of the boot. She's not signed this one, unfortunately, which I'm a bit gutted about. <laughs> <laughs> it's the small things it's the small things so an underwater scene with a big shell I'm not overly that confident with colouring shells so I might have to do a bit of practice before I attempt to do it in the actual colouring book oh another one with fish I like this one but she's got uh, seashell earrings see just there I like colouring fish as well. I do like colouring fish. You could always make one of them of traditional gold. And then this one, like the tricolour, the gold, the black and the white. Really like that one. That, that one contended to be the first one to be coloured. I wish I had a piece of paper or something to cover that up. I do a lot of art. Don't blame me. Wow, so this one's a good um, her practice. And it's with the... Uh, the skulls again. Actually, a her is in a similar sort of shape, isn't it? So I'm assuming it's all... Is it star signs or... What are they called them? I paint them and I can't even remember the name of them. Constellations? So this reminds me from another one, but the, the other one, it's got jewels around the corners. It is more uh, 
not, I don't want to say a spacer. No, you've got the stars and the sun and stuff. she got a beautiful face, huh? Oh, this one's gorgeous as well. Oh, the daffodils. The daffodils were coming into the daffodil season as well. I love daffodils. That is so beautiful. I still prefer that one. But for colouring skin, my gosh. Aren't they gorgeous, twins? Aren't they gorgeous? Well, they're meant to be. Yeah, no, they are twins. So, crab in the hair. That'll be a full month of colour, that actually. I'll have to uh, reference a couple of pictures. Watch a couple of David Attenboroughs <laughs> to get that coloured. Yeah, it shells again. Like a, a dream catcher. Really bonnet. That'd be good as well. Practice for the fabric for the hair. Oh my gosh, look at that one. Uh, I think I might be too scared to colour that one. That is gorgeous. Look at that lion. That would be one that I'd have to take my time because I'd want that to turn out perfect. I'd probably match the lion's mane to her hair so it all blended into one. I'll do the total opposite, do like oranges and browns for the lions and then maybe like purples and blues for her, total opposite, I don't know. I don't know but that one is just impeccable. I love that lion. Look at me with the fancy words. Also she's got like a half half a wing or a butterfly in her hair, like an ornament, is it? And flowers to colour. This one's nice as well with the uh, headpiece crystals again. Yeah, so it is star signs, isn't it? I, I mean, I don't know my star signs at all, but I'm taking a good guess that it is star signs. <laughs> I love that one. I can imagine all this border being um, a metallic watercolour to make it really shiner. Look at the scorpion. Scorpion queen. Oh, that one's super cool as well, isn't it? Now, the steampunk ones I do shy away from. I like the look of them, don't get me wrong, but I always struggle to colour ste steampunk ones. Now, I think this might have been the one that colour with Claire coloured because she really loves the steampunk stuff and I'm just not good at it. I don't think I'm good at colouring like metals and stuff um, so I'd probably shy away from this until the very end of the boot to be honest. I mean she's really pretty and it'd be interesting colouring a bra like that or a top. It's a bra isn't it? Yeah but I do, I, I tend to shy away from them. So this one's a bit weird that why has it been cut off here? It's like the illustration should have been a bit smaller, you know, to fit the whole thing on the page. That's a bit weird, that to me. Or was it meant to be like that? So you just see on one side. Maybe. She's another pretty one as well, oh my gosh. I've good practice as well for all different skin tones here and makeup as well. I've started recently putting makeup on my uh, ladies that I colour. So this will be a fun one to do as well. Another one with fish. Now they are, are they carp? Are they carp? I'm not sure, but she's beautiful, isn't she? Gorgeous. Another one with a skull. Oh, this one might be a contender, actually. I really like that one. I think I like that one more, so this one it might be up there with the first one that I do. I wouldn't, I'm not sure about the background, I'll be honest with you, I'm not sure about what I'd do in the background. Maybe I'd just pretend that wasn't there and make my own background. I'm not sure, but that is lovely. The detail in the plaits in the hair, and I like colouring skulls as well. Uh, don't ask me what sort of animal that is, I've no idea. But it looks cool behind the lady, doesn't it? Is it an ox? No, it's not an ox, is it? But look, it's got um, jewellery on, on its antlers. And on its forehead. That's a cool one. Another one with twins. They've both got different jewellery on. They're holding the same flower. Buns as well. 
Another I take this is like an underwater scene. You know, like maybe she's a mermaid and her hair's flowing in the water and she's found a jewelry at the bottom of the sea floor, that sort of thing. Oh my gosh. Right, so my request for the next colouring boot, please, is to make it of a lady like that, like the same as that what I thought was an ox, and then an animal in the background facing that way or that way. That is gorgeous. A different animal with a different lady or man. I'd uh, please like to request that, thank you. <laughs> Again, that's one that I'd probably be very, very nervous to colour, but as I say, if the, your colouring boots are there to colour so don't be scared I just have to make sure that I take my time a little bit more than usual so these are peacock feathers so that'll be really interesting to colour because it's like uh, weaved in in between a hair almost so that uh, will be very interesting to colour that one another one gorgeous look at her face beautiful just such beautiful illustrations and is this the last? No, not yet. And look at that hairdo. Isn't that super cool? I wonder if you could draw something maybe up here that she's looking at. Or, thought, you could have a light source coming down here and lighting up her face. That's a good idea. Ooh, so one with arrows in her. So is she a fighter? She's been in a battle or something? I think if she had, I don't think a jury would be in uh, that perfect position, though, would it? But that uh, is the end of the colouring book. I think it worked out with the currency difference. It was about £34 something. Um, and then there was a currency exchange charge as well, which was like 30 something P. Uh, I know it is an expensive colouring book, but I think the illustrations in this book are definitely worth it. The format as well, the spiral bound. The paper's not my favourite. It's not my favourite, but it, it's workable. It is workable. It just it depends what what mediums you're using, I suppose. So I hope that you enjoyed the little flip through, and I am really looking forward to starting a page in this. I've just got one more whip that I'll probably be able, be able to get finished today, and then pick a page out of here. But I've, that line at the back though is just. There's a lot of pages in here that I do really, really, really want to colour. Some more than others. I think this one's just beautiful. I don't, I don't know what it is about schools. Anyway, thank you so much for watching. If you did enjoy any of the video, then please do leave me a thumbs up. I will leave the email address in the description down below in case you want to buy your own copy. I would suggest it. It's a nice book. It's a nice book. So thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in my next one. Bye.